be live. Oh yeah, um, Monday, not Thursday. Um, this is getting to be a bit of a habit, isn't it? Um, I'm, uh, I've got a really, really quick thing for you today. So um, to um, bulk it out a little bit, I've brought some of the stuff over from the shop. I've been around the shop going, yep, I love this, I love this. First off, this is what Sarah was squeaking about. Um, she was telling you on Thursday, um, it's £10 a panel and there are coordinating fabrics. They are on the website, um, but it is proper cute. Um, you've got A to, oh, A to Z. I was thinking, there's no Z. It stops at Y, but it's not, it goes up a bit. But um, it's really cool. It's, it could be for boy or a girl. Um, and I think the coordinating fabrics are the same that you can pick for a boy or a girl. Um, you can always add U for Unicorn in there. What have they got to do U? Or an umbrella. Unicorns are much better. You could always stick a unicorn around it. Oh. Um, I don't think there's an animal that begins with a U. There isn't a what? An animal that begins with a U. They're um, all animals besides. Can anybody think of an animal that begins with a U? Um... No, I can't right now. We will think. I can think of a fruit. These as well. These are back in stock. 45 millimetre rotary cutters. And we got you pretty ones. I want one of every colour, surprisingly. Um, and I can't remember how much they are. If Sarah's there, she'll put the price up for you. If not, have a look online. They're on there. They're... They're usually between ten and fourteen pound, depending on how much we pay for them. So um, have a look, okay? Um, I definitely think some of this, one of these, has to go home with me because I haven't got that colour. Um, so that's that one. What else have I got? Wool. We had big. Um, I was off. I was off and missed the wool. Um, Linda put all the wool up for us, so we've had a king coal um delivery in now i don't know whether you've seen this cherish um a lot of you have um it actually if you just knit it just plain knitting it comes up like that okay so i don't know whether you can see that droop down there but it's better like that so it comes out in this pattern okay so you've got um See, it comes out in the pattern, and I mean, you can see it better there. And that's just with plain knitting. You don't have to do anything, and it looks like you've done something. Okay, so we've got them. I've only brought three colours over. Um, we have more colours there. There's more blues. Um, this one here, this was a very uh, popular pattern. It, uh, this is done in uh, like a fisherman's rib. So that pattern comes up like that if you do a different stitch. Am I getting too close to you? Mm, um, so you can see that it's a really, really good wool. It's very soft. Um, but we also had... Let me see. Who am I talking to today? Uh, Carolyn, Jane. We've got Sandra, Maria, Wendy, Marilyn. Orangutan was was an animal that begins with you. No, it begins with an O. Orangutan begins with you. I thought. No, you could be right. I'd have to write it down. Orangutan. Yeah. I think you know. There we that's, are. That's what well, why did they put Sandra umbrella said. then? That's what Sandra said. Oh, uh, if Sandra said it, it must be right. Mm. So we've also got a chunky. Now this is lovely, um, I think those are the colours we went with, we might have done a grey as well, I'm not sure. Um, this is a King Cole Chunky, this is 475 a ball, 100 gram ball, um, it's uh, acrylic, cotton and wool in here um, and it just feels good. Um, so we've got patterns for this as well, I think. It's called Subtle Drifter. So this should be up on the website as well, I think. If not, it will be. G 
give us a chance. We're doing her Chanda orders today. And you all went mad on the website over the weekend, which is brilliant. So we're um, cutting like mad in there. So you've got a confetti, denim, and mustard, surprisingly. Um, it's growing on me, mustard. Mustard's not one of my um, go-to colours at all. <laughs> it's not enough of a rainbow. We also have, now these are more me, these. These are in the super chunky. Now these are Explorer. These are 80 acrylic, 20 wool. Um, and we have, what's the name? Marco Polo. Oh, we used to play that. Uh, Drake and Hawkins I think they're after huh, they're after explorers haha <laughs> it's it's amazing the clogs the cogs do filter through eventually but they're all named after famous explorers I do like this one this is in like um purples and heathers um they're just lovely okay so those are some of the new walls I mean we've had more but I couldn't carry them. So we're going to go on to today's tutorial. It is a piece of cake. Um, and it's something that I wish I'd had on the weekend. Um, we're doing a, see my hair. I'm trying to keep it down, but it drives me nuts. Le Leona was right, it would drive me nuts. We're going to do a trolley handle cover. Now, I don't know whether you've noticed that we go and pick up a, cro a trolley, we take it into the supermarket and then we wipe it down and wipe our hands. But you, you've got to touch it in the first place, which to me is, is madness. I mean, I've got um, dog wet wipes in my in my bag and, and quite often I'll wipe it down before I use it but you've got to think about that if you've got one of these you're going to want to think about it so it's really quick you need two pieces of material five and three quarters by 15 inch okay that's it and then velcro um, or hook and hook and hook and hook hook and hoops no hook and loop yeah, hook and loop, latch and loop, I don't know, Velcro. Um, and you want that at 14 inch, okay? And that's it. That's all you need. So all of you, I would imagine, would have little bits of scrap in there. Now, if you're going to different shops, you might want to then um, make more than one because, you know, COVID, face masks, you're supposed to take them off and put them away and everything. So what we're going to do, I've cut this out, not very straight, but I've cut it out and I'm going to sew all the way round um, except for turning in, in, the, in the middle of one of the uh, long sides, okay? So what's everybody up to? Talk to me while I'm doing this. I'm just using edge of foot. We were wrong with that, we wrong with time. It does begin with a no. It does, does it? Yeah. Brainy. But there was another monkey. I've, I've lost a comment, but once there was another monkey that gives it to you. Oh, is it an ugly monkey? Oh. Mm -hmm. right. I've got all these wires down here. Right, here we go. So, what else is going on? Jean just says she's knitting a giraffe. It's in a giraffe. Nice. Did you see Sarah at the weekend doing um, her uh, crochet? I thought that was really cool. No, you don't often see uh, wool on a chanda. We still have a few of the, you know, the, the packs that they were selling with 10 different colours in it. We still have a couple of those left if you, uh, if you want. We'll probably... I don't know whether we can put them on the website. I think we can. Um, 
So if you fancy uh, all those balls for toy toy knitting in lockdown, I can't believe we've gone into lockdown again. Makes us say she's dropped Elsie off for her first day of play <gasps> group. Oh my god, how are you doing? You gonna put, go to bed? She put a crying emoji. Oh, it's horrible when your last one goes to uh, goes off to nursery and everything because you realise that you're getting old, kid. Doesn't mean you have to go and have any more. Right, I've got all the way round. However, you can if you want. It'll be my mother on the other end going, no, don't. Okay. Can I cut that? Why wouldn't that go up? Oh, it's because the foot's come off. Sarah, what have you been doing? I didn't touch it. Honest, I didn't. It's not just the foot that's come off. It's the whole elbow. <laughs> right. Talk to me while I fix this. Grace says hi. Hiya. Uh -huh. Meg says she's feeling lost, but now she's got the whole day to do whatever she wants to, you know, for herself. Yeah. Well, Elsie will only be in in the afternoon. So you could go home and just crochet. Or, uh, what else could we do? You could learn to sew. Which way am I going? That way. Anything else? Um. What did everybody do at the weekend? Okay. Mary said, watch both programmes on Catch Up. Hope the presenter was okay. Uh, yes, yeah, um, I think she was okay. Um, they did send her home, but hopefully she's fine. But uh, Sarah did. I swear they're going to uh, eventually, they're going to ask her to stay and not go back. She could become a Hachanda presenter, no problem whatsoever. And if they don't ask, I don't want her to go, by the way. Don't don't decide to go. But if they don't ask, they're missing a trick. Okay, so I'm cutting all the corners off, as per usual. Don't cut through your stitches. Okay. Um, I seem to have a lot of. So we're going to now turn it round the right way. Makes it said, Wow, thanks, mother. If I'm old, what are you? Ancient. I'm ancient. It's my friend Marie's birthday today, right? So uh, I, she's three quarters of a year younger than me, something like that. Um, and uh, I text her to say happy birthday and that I've been a bit rubbish this year and not sent a card. Um, but it didn't mean I didn't love her any less. I still love her the way I did 40 years ago. I can't believe it's been 40 years and I just, well, I don't feel any different than when we were knocking around when we were 15. It's just, it's a scary thought. Time is scary. So, um, right, I've poked all the corners out and I'm going to, as per usual, again, I'm going to do my um, um, press, my little press thing. Now you can take it to the iron, um, but it's over there. When you get to your um, your hole, your gap, make sure that you're you're pressing in your uh, your seam allowance because we're going to top stitch it now and put the um, Velcro in. There's a lot of birthdays at the moment. Lindy Lou's birthday today. So she's brought in a melon. A melon with a candle on it. Because um, we're supposed to be not eating cake and everything. I gave her Welsh cakes. So I'm hoping she's still there when I get back. Because I forgot to pick up any on the way to work. So um, I'm hoping for a cup of tea and a Welsh cake. Um, 
It's Marie's birthday. It's Vicky's birthday. Vicky, if you're there, happy birthday to you as well. Um, and tomorrow it's my niece's birthday. And she's 24. 24. She's only two in my eyes. Small. It's your birthday soon as well, isn't it, Drew? Yeah, 10th of October. <gasps> Oh, how old are you going to be? 24. 24. The same yeah, age as Katie. The same age as Katie, yeah. So, so yeah. And Erin is going to be six. When's Erin's birthday? On the 5th of October. No, 6th of October. So it's um this time of the year for me, there's a lot of uh, celebrations. And no um. cake. I'm assuming it's mum, but Linda, it says white gecko, so I'm going to go with, with it's mum. Linda says uh, they're all hers, the wash cakes. <laughs> I cooked four batches yesterday. You had the best of them. Some of them are um, well cooked, shall we say. I still think I used the, um, I used my nan's bake stone, but I used the thin aluminium one. I don't think it's as good as the um, the heavy one. But again, that was up there and I didn't want to go. Right, so this is going to go around like that, isn't it? On your... On your um... Trolley. Thank you. On your trolley. So you want to put the Velcro, you want to put one on this side and then turn it over and put one on that side. Okay. So we're going to put, I don't think it matters. Um, when I do poppers and things, I always put the male part on the bit that um, I'm going to be pulling. I don't know whether that's right or not, but that's what I do. Okay, so you can see that by using edge of foot, the Velcro is going to fit exactly. I told you it wasn't going to be long. Me wittering probably takes longer. Meg said you cook them. Where's mine? Uh, yeah, I waited till you went home to cook them. <laughs> I'll drop you some off, love. <laughs> yeah, I'm not daft. I had a house full yesterday. There was no way I was going to try and cook Welsh cakes with the two little ones running around. So... Shucks, I should, should have just said I cooked, cooked Welsh cakes for Linda, shouldn't I? So, there we go. That's on one side and that's on the other. Now, if you put it fairly close to the edge, you can catch that in your top stitching. So, um, I need to do like at least a quarter inch... Um, quarter inch okay right Sarah's phone keeps going off but they're not leaving any messages okay velcro is really difficult to get any pins through Ugh. right I'm off next week. I know, yes, I've ha just had a couple of days off, but I'm off next week. We tried to get a week in, and um, because of a few birthdays and stuff, I wanted um, the first week in October off. So um, I have to do all the programmes. Sarah's got to do them all to next week, and I've got to do them all the, next, the week after. So I'm going to have to come up with something that's going to keep your interest and some blocks. I think I think I have an idea for um, the block of the week thing. Um, right, this would probably go much better if I ironed it. <laughs> so we want at least a quarter of an inch. Now I don't know how Sarah's is at doing um, Velcro. The mine is quite sticky. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in two halves. Susan said use glue pen uh, to hold Velcro. <gasps> what a good idea! Why didn't I think of that? 
That's a really good idea. Well, I don't know where Sarah's glue pen is. We'll do it this way now. We'll just have to be careful. So I'm going to go back. So, anything else? Um, Marilyn said, uh, what about insulated pot handles, holders? Right, yes, I did see that you had asked for that before, Marion. So I will um, definitely have a look at that for you. Um, in fact, I could write it down. Bear with me, let me write it down. Pot holders. Don't iron that now. Sorry? So don't iron that. Don't iron it now. <laughs> see, he does listen to us. We've done about 150 of these now. Have we done that many? It's about that many. We need to count it up, say. Go back and, and count it up um, and see what we've uh, what we've come to. Right, I'm just catching the edge of this. Um, if you're doing it, I've lost a pin. Um, if you're doing it, you might want to go over it again. It, it won't matter if you go over it twice. But um, I know some machines just don't like, um, just don't like it. When was our hundredth episode, sir? Sorry. When was our hundredth episode? Um, about fifty. I don't know. Um, we did write it down. It's written on the calendar, but in the shop. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the other side. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. So that I can see. Okay, so I've done one side. Okay. So, anything else going on? Uh, Sandra said, with the pot you put a non-slippy grip on inside the tube to stop it slipping off the pot handle. Oh, I don't know. I've not looked yet. Um, anything. We've got the... You mean the, like the stuff we put on the bottom of the slippers? That's the silicone. I do know that it's no good putting glue dots now. Um, after Dave took the potato out of the oven, this is really moving terribly, um, a glue stick would have been a really good idea. Dave took a potato, um, I've done like a pot holder thing, um, when I did the bowls, and I told you don't use the glue dots. I cut the ones after because they've left glue on the jacket potato. Sonia said, What about a uh, hot water bottle cover? Oh, we could do that. Mm. Yeah, it's getting to that stage. Our fire is going on now in the evenings rather than going to put a new ju another jumper on. Put the fire on. We don't have heating in our main room right you also then after you've done this you also want to sew here okay so we're going to put like another top stitch down there now if you wanted to you could um go into making it um padded uh, but really all we're trying to do is um, uh, protect against the virus rather than um, make it a comfort thing that you need to do. So we're going... Jean said Halloween decorations. Halloween decorations. Okay. I will look into that. Oh, I did do a pumpkin. I made a fabric pumpkin. So Halloween. What was the other one? Um, hot, um, water, hot bo water bottle. Hot yeah, water bottle. Hot water bottle. Okay. 
I've got to do this because my brain now is just ridiculous. Okay, cut, lift, lift. We're nearly done. This last one and that's done. So if you've got anything to say, now's the time to say it because uh, I will be poofing it back to the shop. Okay. Um, Kath Lum's just been in showing us her um, uh, Seminole um, quilting that she did with Sarah on a Zoom class and oh it's just beautiful. She also did her quilting um, on her embroidery machine which I thought was a, it's amazing. So I'm going to have a look at the book and consider getting it for mine but um that would be another thing to add. What are you laughing at? Meg. Meg just say, can I have one please? Elsie licked, <laughs> licked the trolley in little. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do tend to. I've got pictures somewhere of airing licking windows. Um, okay. Which I'll bring out on her 18th birthday okay and we're done so when you wrap it around your pole your trolley you just wrap it and it fits like that so there we are nice quick easy make oh, um you probably take more time at it go on i say it's always a jumper for your snake that's Sandra, is it? No, that was me. Oh, it was you. <laughs> That's a Sandra comment, that is. Right, so there we go. I mean, you could... I think all trolleys are roughly the same size, aren't they? It, there's going to be all these ladies going around with their tape measures, measuring trolleys. I did think about it before I, uh, I did it. So, um, easy make. Easy to roll up and put in your bag. Look at that. You could roll it up and put it in your roll-up bag that Sarah did with you. So any any other insights? Uh, Gina Marion says thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's me done. Keep keep spending money. Remember, you, we can uh, do click, click and collect. So if you turn up at the shop, we can just take it out and put it into your car. You don't even need to get out. Um, you're more than welcome to come into the shop we are we will be there as long as we can be um and it's essential that we should be on an essential there are um um what are they call protests no they're not called protests you can go and and sign petitions petitions, petitions thanks drew um you can go and sign a petition to to, to make your craft shop essential they are out there. So uh, that's me. I will see you um, a week Monday. No, two weeks. Two weeks today. Wow. So we might need to think about this. Um, I'll see you soon. All right. Take care. Bye.